Okay, good morning. Um, I'm Miranda, this is Jacob, and this is Megan. We're consultants from ABC Global Business Consulting Incorporated. We invited you here today to go over some of the strategies that we have for Ryanair's new business communication model. Um, before Ryanair can go ahead and communicate its new policies with its customers, we need to take a look at how the customers will perceive the new changes. The first policy that Ryanair is implementing is the web-based check-in. Now this we thought would um, most likely be liked by both current and prospective customers. Um, the customers will see Ryanair as innovative because they're keeping up with the times. Customers can now check in on their smartphones on the go. Um, what makes this really, what makes Ryanair really competitive with this new policy is the fact that yes, a lot of airlines offer web-based check-in, but the difference is that Ryanair offers it up to five days before your flight, where the majority of airlines offer it only 24 hours before the flight. So that's going to keep them really competitive, even though they were a little bit late in getting this new policy. Um, in addition, priority boarding will be offered to customers who print out their tickets at home and bring them with them to the ter terminal, thus saving time and money for both parties. Um, the second policy is the check-in bag fees. Now, no one likes paying extra fees, so this will most likely not be perceived well by customers, current or prospective. So we'll need a lot of additional explanation in order for it to be accepted by the customers. Reiner will have to explain that by charging for more bags, less bags will then have to be processed and there'll be less labor needed. With less labor, their ticket fares will go down. But a lot of customers are not going to sit down and have um, the time to have that explained to them, nor will they want to, which is why um, we thought that the information that Ryanair needs to present to its customers needs to be presented very carefully. All right, now that we've taken a look at what Ryanair's new policies are, we uh, can decide what information they should share with their customers and what information should be kept within the company itself. Uh, Ryanair needs to focus on cutting their customers' costs as opposed, as opposed to cutting their own costs. If we take a look at the baggage fee, uh, new, the new baggage fee policy, um, Ryanair implemented this policy in order to compensate for the amount of time it takes for their employees to check in all the luggage that their customers bring on board with them. However, this can be presented in a way that's more beneficial to their customers. Over time, Ryanair's customers will be encouraged to not bring as much baggage on board with them because they want to avoid paying this baggage fee. So therefore, ideally, Ryanair's employees will have less baggage to check in, and so the baggage fee will be more than enough to make up for the labor costs involved in checking in luggage. Therefore, with this extra, re uh, extra revenue, Ryanair can look to cut their customers' costs by either lowering the baggage fee or lowering ticket prices. So you can see how this indirectly, how the uh, baggage fee policy will indirectly lower their customers' costs. However, even with fees, at the end of the day, Ryanair still offers the cheapest flight in comparison to its competitors. And this is seen in the following example. Uh, we three of us booked a uh, one-way flight from Berlin to London for September 23rd to 29th of this year and it was a one passenger, I believe the passenger had one bag of luggage, and at the end of the day, Ryanair had the cheapest flight at just under 67 euros, their next cheapest competitor was EasyJet at just under 84 euros, and their other competitor, British Airlines, at a whopping 288 euros, that's more than four times the price of Ryanair. So you can see that even, even uh, when Ryanair book, uh, implements new policies for baggage fees, they still have very cheap airfare. And after deciding what information to share with customers, Ryanair then needs to decide how they're going to present this information to both current and prospective customers. Um, it's very important that you only include the information that you um, believe the customers will see as positive, and the suggestions that we have come up with will allow you to do that and also allow the communication to be a little more on the conservative side. Uh, Ryanair's past and current ads can <coughs> might be seen as offensive to customers. And um, for an example, if you go to Google Images and type in Ryanair, you can see how like some of the images that pop up could be seen as offensive to some customers, and that's something we'd like to help you avoid. Um, to inform current customers, we would uh, suggest using email, um, using your current customer database. Um, we have an example of an email that you could send out. It's very informative and friendly, and it still allows um, for some of Ryanair's kind of quirky personality to show. We also suggest uh, creating an official Twitter for Ryanair. Um, this can be used to keep current and prospective customers 
up to date on the changes in real time. And here's an example of what that could look like. This is an example Twitter page that we made for Ryan Noon. And we know Ryan Noon had some trouble with the Twitter pages before and the responses it was getting, um, which is why we began this part of the presentation by saying a lot of your communication methods with, with customers should be cut to more on the conservative side. So here are example tweets. They still are quirky and fit with Ryanair's kind of unique personality, but they inform and they entice the customer to go to the website and check out the new things that are being offered. And another reason that Ryanair is implementing these new policy changes is to attract new customers. And um, to do this, to like show prospective customers what Ryanair has, has to offer, we suggest using ads such as commercials and billboards to advertise the customer and uh, advertise the company and its new cost cutting changes. Um, the commercials can still fit Ryanair's unique personality, but as we said before, they need to be kept a little more on the conservative side, so they might not offend customers. Um, billboards are also a great way to reach a large part of the population. And um, because there's not as much time to read a billboard as you're driving by it, they need to only advertise like a specific ad aspect of the company. With that, we'd like to thank you for your time. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask.